His on new man's too was bad. You remember my nana? She was eighty what something? 80, yeah, yeah. eighty years old at the time, and she was like, "This is some bullshit." <laughs> so I was like, we went and saw it in the Bob Bullock, yeah, so you yeah, know, yeah, on yeah, the IMAX, yeah. you sure? Yeah. yeah. She was like, "I don't know, this, is, this ain't my suit, man." Uh, I don't think he's supposed to. I think he's supposed to save those people, not kill them. Right, all but of them. she yeah. was like pointing out the the, sure. the, the, the the she was like, with, with, "With all this technology, how come everyone's not just leaving Krypton? This doesn't make any yeah, sense." Yeah, that's a good point. Like, I mean, she said that at the beginning. I was like, "We don't." The rest of the movie for me. I, was like, I was like, I'm gonna go sit next to dad. <laughs> hey everyone, Double Toasted Live in Las Vegas is coming up very soon, October 8th. Join us for a night of comedy, music, games, and a big after party. This is going to be our first time doing a show in Las Vegas, so it's going to be a very special night for us, and we want to share it with you. And if you've never been to a Double Toasted show, ask anybody. It's tons of fun. It's just like one big party that we're sharing with friends. And like I said, we want you to be there. So go get your tickets now by going to x1entertainment.com. Talk about a couple of stories, and one of those stories has to do with, uh, well, the Snyder fan's favorite movie of all time. And that is Zack Snyder's Justice League. Just screaming and hollering. Because the thing is, they got their way. They got, they got their Snyder cut. They got their four and a half hour long, quote unquote, epic. <laughs> did, 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 did it turn out that they were mostly bots? They were mostly bots, <laughs> yes. Oh, is that, is, that, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, they're, they're mostly bots, oh, and they were they're just creating accounts just to harass oh, numerous geez. other people. Well, apparently. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the organization that brought that movie to the Snyder fans, Warner Brothers, they're saying that they regret even doing it at this point. Damn. Under the new regime of David Zaslav, they've, they've, they've said that, you know what, in hindsight, because of how, uh, how much they've harassed you know, those, those executives, the people behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I mean, recently other people like you know, comic book creator and, and writer Jim Lee saying that we're not going to continue all the Snyder, uh, the Snyderverse, as it's been called, as it's been dubbed. Uh -huh. People harassing him online, harassing his family members online. Well, that was probably one of, one of the number of reasons why Damn. Warner Bros. Is, is moving away from, uh, well, first of all, moving away from the Snyderverse, but also saying that they regret uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Um, this, is from, <clears throat> this is from the Direct. And it's saying that the demand for Zack Snyder's Justice League has been high following the lackluster response to the movie's actual cut in 2017 after a solid grassroots campaign online, which was mostly comprised of bots, uh, in which even Justice League cast members took part. The famed four-hour director's cover was released on HBO Max 2021. Apparently they spent like $70 million on the movie. Ooh. And so the filming those additional scenes and uh, getting all those actors back as well. Damn. Um, but they've uh, come out <laughs> and they've said there's no plan for additional work on the material and uh, that they were regretting even releasing it because they didn't get like a return on their investment and because yeah. of just the constant, consistent harassment that has been happening from various Snyder fans who have been demanding. I heard, yeah, I heard oh. that about the new guy. Sorry, real quick. Uh, yes, please. Uh, what's his name? The, the Zaslav. David, David Zaslov. Yeah. yeah, I heard that he's just like all business coming in going, yep. that ain't working, cut it. Uh, 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 little Batgirl, you going to and yeah. like, just like things mm -hmm. like you know, it's cheaper for us to just stop this right now instead. Of this. Like you know, he's yeah. all about. Oh, he's, he's going further than that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying. Like, but I heard that on a base level, yeah. that's hit the way he's doing business. Like, I don't care what y'all want. This is how it's gonna go, and this is we're gonna be more efficient now, right? Yeah, he's been like, okay, all you back there. It's like, what? We're already done. We already aired. I know. But we just got to pay out royalties on on you, and so you're gone. Too. Yeah, just they, yeah, just leave, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah clean the house, basically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's what you know. According to, to uh, Warner Brothers insiders, they're saying that because when they released the Snyder Cut, it only further entrenched the Snyderverse fan base, and now they're like. This well, is, we, we want to move on to something different, you know, under the Zaslav regime. It's not this, this, this is why you don't negotiate with terrorists. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this, this is what happens. Yeah, you 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 went ahead and you gave them the demands of these of these trolls who just consistently harass all these various people. And so I, I match it with it's just going to continue on, which is so weird to me because you would think that they would move on with you know Zack Snyder and his various other projects. Like you know he's got the whole uh, um, contract with Netflix right now. Mm. Like he did that Army of the Dead movie. Right, right. You know he's doing that. His, his what he considers to be his Star Wars, that Rebel Moon, you know, series of films that he's doing. Okay. Uh, but like they haven't followed him over to that stuff. And I think really it's just because they just want D Zack Snyder's vision of the DC universe. They want that murderous, psychopathic Superman. They want, you know, all of these other, you know, incarnations of the characters. And they, they it's want, just frustrating and kind of sad. They want Superman. Yeah. 
they, they get somebody else in there doing Justice League with a different take, and they'll flock to that. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course they will. That, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that's because Zack Snyder is not more important than these characters. They just want that going. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, at this point, the fact is that they've been demanding this for like 10 years now. Okay. You know, another Superman film, and he's constantly and consistently harassing all uh -huh. these people. It's uh -huh. just like, I don't, I don't know if they're, I mean, they're always, you're always going to have those people that are entrenched, are going to, because they've made their whole life. Because I've never seen a, a community rally behind, or like a fan base, if you want to call them, like, like a single creative person. It's like, yeah, we have our people who are fanboys of like Quentin Tarantino and uh, like but any Wes director. Anderson. Yeah, Wes Anderson, <laughs> sure, but not not to the degree of something like Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder is kind of like a weird anomaly to me, and so it's just weird that you have like so many people that are just so entrenched and behind this guy's vision for a single property. I'm like I've never seen that now, before. I would throw out the name George Lucas because oh. that that was always going on with him. Yeah, I like 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 uh, Return of the Jedi came out and spent the next decade with any time he they. He said he might do it. He said he's thinking about it. Yeah, always. Hey, super excited people. Mm -hmm. Hey, he said in the next five years he's gonna start thinking about doing another one. Yeah. And it it, it just it hit a fever pitch. Sure. And, and while they weren't nobody was getting harassed as far as I know, the internet didn't exist then. Right. right. Like it does now. <laughs> so it makes it super easy and convenient to harass. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of empty threats. Yeah, I you know, no, no, I mean, we definitely look at that. It's just, it's just annoying to me. Yeah, that you know that this is still going to be attached to so many uh, future because we're still going to get Batman movies, still going to get Superman mm -hmm. films when sure. they eventually come out. But yeah. it's just like this is just still here. But again, it's just it's just further, it's furthering Warner Brothers' point that they're they're just they don't want to move on with this anymore. And some people yeah. are just not fucking getting that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, which is weird some to people me. Are never going to get that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably the mentally type ill. Of people you're talking about. Mm -hmm. These are like Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. not going. They're not going to. You know, they're just not going to get it. Sure. So sure. Yeah. Yeah. We'll eventually see. Eventually, I just want to bring that up again, just to confirm the Snyder fans. Like, listen, it, it's dead. It's gone. Enjoy the movie. You got your four and a half mediocre movie. I, I will say this. I'll say this. It was better than the theatrical one. It was. It, it was, was better. It was definitely better. I. I don't. I don't I think. Still didn't it, like it that much. Yeah. I know exactly. It's like this is the best you can do, really, with Justice League. This is the, like all these iconic characters. This was the absolute best. All right. Okay. I mean, look, if, if you build a house and and the frame is not right. Oh, sure. It doesn't matter what siding. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> no, how you decorate it. You, you can add all kind of shit, shit to it. Yeah. Yeah. Add, yeah. Add shit to it. It's still yeah. going to be that messed up. That foundation's made out of candy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. No, you're right. I mean, the foundation started with, you know, Man of Steel. And that mm -hmm. was not a good foundation to, mm -hmm. to build oh, upon. Man. You know, that was a complete misunderstanding of a character. Mm -hmm. And then... Then you wanted to rush things. That's the other thing, too. That was the other thing. They wanted yeah. to rush with Batman v Superman, then they yeah, went to God. Justice League, and mm -hmm. they wanted that Avengers money. That's right, what it but was. those don't build up to the character. Here's how I knew Man of Steel was bad. You remember my Nana? She was 80, what, something? 80, yeah, yeah. 80 years old at the time, and she was like, this is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, we went and saw it in the Bob Bullock, so you know, on the IMAX, and you sure. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> this ain't my Superman. Uh, I don't think he's supposed to. I think he's supposed to save those people, not kill them. Right, but he was like pointing out the 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 she was like, with, with, with all this technology, how come everyone's not just leaving Krypton? Does that make any goddamn yeah, yeah. sense? <laughs> like, I mean, she said that at the beginning. I was like, we gonna fuck the rest of the movie up for me. I was like, I was like I'm gonna go sit next to Dad. <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> that was her. That's what it got. Yeah, she nailed it. She absolutely nailed it. Yeah. So again, but hey, the future is bright. Hopefully, you know, Warner Bros. get their shit together. Or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Is Zaslav there? I don't think so. <laughs> because that's the other thing. Um, other than, you know, everything that's going on with their DC properties, the big thing that's going on there now that was just talked about today was the fact that Legendary, their contract is up. Mm -hmm. with Warner Brothers and people don't know like Legendary they were behind you know a, ton of stuff, a, a lot of stuff like most recently a lot of the Monsterverse movies you know like Godzilla and, and Khan and mm -hmm. the most recent film Godzilla uh, Godzilla versus Khan um, and they, they also like produce like the Dark Knight trilogy they were oh, behind yeah, that yeah, yeah, with, yeah, with, yeah. with Nolan they did Man of Steel as well and so one of the big factors in them wanting to leave Warner Brothers right now is because of the way the old regime handled things when they did that day and day release. Oh yeah, yeah. With yeah. like back during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So putting like Godzilla versus Khan, you know, yeah. same day on HBO Max as it was released in the theaters and also uh, Dune. And so they're like, well, you didn't they didn't even consult them. And apparently there was like a whole litigation. That, that was yeah, that was a whole big thing, mm -hmm. you know, even with Disney with with Scarlett Johansson. That's right. With, with Black Widow. Mm -hmm. And and we were like, didn't she make enough money? It's like, that's not the issue here. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, you made a movie, but the idea was going to get a theatrical release. It gets a, a, a you know streaming day of and only does this. 
Yeah. Uh, he's like, hey. And you, I'm supposed to get a percentage. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you you just screwed me out of a lot of money. Yeah. You had those clauses in the contract where, yeah, they're supposed to get points in the back end right. you know, for the box office. And you can't make your points in the back end unless, it, unless the box office hits a certain level. Mm-hmm. That's right. Action. That's right. And so that's, you know, a big reason why at this point, Legendary's like, well, now the contract's up. You know, they're, they're looking uh, like Sony and Paramount are currently looking at. Mm-hmm. Legendary. Mm-hmm. Now the other part of this is they would take all the properties that they own and go over there. Yeah. And so like they could potentially have like all their monsterverse stuff, which yeah. again, you say what you will about it. You know, there's some of those films that I like, some I definitely do not like. Mm-hmm. But you know, Godzilla's Khan, even during the pandemic, made like five hundred plus million dollars worldwide. Right. So you can imagine what it would probably have made if it just if stayed it just in theaters. In theaters mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're already making another one. Mm-hmm. And so at that point it's like, okay, that's just another big loss. For Warner Brothers, sure. who's already just you know cutting so much content, mm-hmm. you know from their uh, from their services re- and also the uh, the production. Well, it's really sad, in as much as I was always saying how of all the streaming services, like of the ones I pay for, HBO Max has been my favorite. It's the one I watch the most. Mm-hmm. And now if they're going to gut it, then I might be looking at like, well, why am I even paying for this at all? Yeah, I know. I mean, the definitely like cutting like one of the best uh, things about HBO Max, at least for me, is like all the animation they have on mm-hmm. there. You know, it's really easily inaccessible. But with them just saying, like, we are stepping away from animation, we're gutting that division, removing all this content, and, you know, it seems to be every other day they're, they're talking about taking something mm-hmm. else off. Or, or, I mean, right now, like, bat, this another, I should have uh, uh, prepared some clips for this. Another thing that they uh, pre- had prepared to have on HBO Max was Bruce Timm and Matt Reeves and J.J. Right. Abrams' Batman the Cape Crusader, yeah. which is going to be their, like, new Batman animated show. Mm. Kind of like, like, oh, cool. like a spiritual successor to Batman the Animated Series. I want, is that the one I auditioned for? Maybe I auditioned yeah. to play Jim Gordon. In, oh, that's uh, fucking cool! Thing, but yeah, oh nice. It, so yeah. yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. No. But anyway, <laughs> no, it's interesting though. But like, well, you, that show wouldn't have gone HBO. They didn't know you didn't know where that show would have <laughs> been. Then, if you were yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My brother went out for it too. So oh yeah. wow, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, with that, with that series, like. Other other streaming services are looking at, at, at grabbing that. Like, even Disney's looking at grabbing a Batman property. That's a fucking flex. If you have a WB, like, DC show on Disney+, Plus, that just shows you the state of things going on at Warner Brothers. That, don't you feel so like, Disney. Like, like, yeah. like Disney has been for a while strategizing there, like, we're going to get DC comics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just we got Mar. We're gonna we're gonna right, get them. Right. It's it's just a matter of time. time. We just mm-hmm. we just <laughs> rook to Queens three. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Y'all yeah. play little good games. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll be right here. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I love when a plan comes together. <laughs> <laughs> Just chomp on a cigar yeah. waiting for the background. Yeah. Y'all done yet? Y'all done fucking around? Yeah. Y'all come over here whenever you're ready. <laughs> That's the thing. They have like those pan- that, that pantheon of characters, and they haven't been doing it. Like, it's been Superman, Batman movie. And then finally, after decades, we finally got like a Wonder Woman film mm-hmm. and a mm-hmm. you know Green Lantern film. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they haven't been do- treating the property well. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe this could be a sign of the times where we could eventually see a lot of just DC stuff eventually on all other platforms and not Possibly. the one that it's company that's it's owned by it's just it's just bizarre to me and just shows you like yeah okay they may they say they have a plan but we haven't seen that plan in action yet i don't like the idea of dc having a monopoly because monopolies aren't good for us the consumer sure 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 disney right? what did i say said dc, DC. Oh, sorry. But, but disney, I, I got disney, what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah 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 uh but it would mean getting those marvel dc crossovers yeah which I never, would be I nice and those. also better movies because you know i'm sorry you <laughs> yeah. know and i mean at this point boy yeah. one of those you know, they didn't start talking to MGM and going, man. <laughs> how y'all doing? Man? <laughs> so, so, how is it over at Amazon? It, it looks, looks kind of cool. They got any more room over there? Man, we went to one room. We got to talk to landlord. I mean, MGM, they, they, they lost a studio a yeah, long no, time ago. They got an actual physical studio. They don't have that anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just, they're a production. Yeah, pretty much. Now, yeah. They're, not, they're not a studio anymore. A lot of these places that were up for, like, they were standing for decades, and now they're they're going away. So who's, who's to say that Warner Bros. couldn't be one of those That's places? I'm saying. Somebody was arguing the other day, like, oh, they would have been around forever. I said, like, so is MGM. Yeah, MGM's yeah, sure. been around maybe longer than Warner yeah, Brothers. Yeah. Like, yeah. Metro Golden Mayor. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm telling you, the shit, the only thing keeping MGM alive was Bond. 
Yeah, that's, that's right. right. You know, and, that's, and, and, and Amazon yeah. just said, like, hey, just, give it bring, to us. Just come mm-hmm. on over here. Yeah. 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 You Good ain't point. got the money to make a good Bond movie. Just come <laughs> on over here. Well, hold on. I'm counting. <laughs> <laughs> How much you got? Like, let, 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 let me borrow five. <laughs> <laughs> let me hold five. Yeah, let me hold five. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, anyway. But, yeah, exactly. It could totally happen in Warner Bros. Yeah. They it's an issue. They hemorrhaging money on everything they do. They, I, think, I think they wanted to cut, <laughs> like, uh, three billion worth of costs. But, like, they're, in terms of... Uh, the, I forget what the, the thing was. It was like shares or something like or their market value. Mm-hmm. So even though they wanted to save $3 billion, they ended up saving $3 billion, apparently. But their market value like dropped $23 billion. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. So, which is, you know, significant. So we'll see. I mean, I want to see where we are five years into David Zavzlov's plan. Right. You know, because it's not only... This, the mismanagement of of things like the Monster vs. Machine, even though that's been successful, at least commercially, you could say. But the Godzilla vs. Khan reviewed fairly well, mm-hmm. and even uh, Khan, Skull Island, probably reviewed the best of them. That's the Godzilla movies that were, kind yeah. of, you know, whatever. But still, it's making money. But the other side of it, too, I just realized, Harry Potter. Fantastic Beast. That last movie made the least amount of oh, money right. yeah. out of any of the previous Wizarding World of Harry yeah, Potter. Films. Yeah, those Harry Potters have been a cash cow for them. Yeah, and well, now you know, they're trying to reboot it again, right? Aren't they trying to? Are I don't know. About, I mean, I'm not sure what they're going to do. I don't know. Well, I mean, nothing ever goes away. Mm-hmm. No exactly. franchise goes away. Yeah, that's, that's true. But people get sick of that. So you know, they're, they're going to try to reboot that. That's what I heard. Yeah. And okay. Warner Bros. needs to be careful because if you go to L.A., you go to Burbank. Disney and Warner Brothers, those studios are right down the street from each other. Oh, so wow. he's like, yeah, <laughs> you got the big water tower. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that tower's not looking so good. I see that it's leaking and yeah. some of the wood is The right. water kids are and fucking and dead and up and there. And right. and <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, because Disney has, it's so funny because yeah. Disney has a water tower with mouse ears on it. Oh. <laughs> and they made it just a little taller. <laughs> like, you motherfuckers. I ain't got to get it. I don't even need no water tower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's just at the <laughs> moment. It's dead yeah, yeah, oh, they're fucking dead. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, nope, there's no water in that water tower. <laughs> but then, yeah, again, it shows the current state over there. And, yeah, I'm concerned because, you know, I like these things. We like a lot of these properties. Sure, and, sure. And for us, Martin, I don't know if you have HBO Max, Billy, but it just makes that service less valuable. <laughs>